All right guys, we're back staring at my engine bay. And in this video, I'm actually in the process of replacing my high pressure fuel pump for the third time. So since I've gone through a lot of different fuel pump options, I thought it would be a good time to go ahead and show you guys all of the different fuel pumps side by side. And that way you can kind of understand the differences. And if you're trying to pick one, maybe this will help. Or, you know, if you're just curious about the differences between the pumps, then this video is for you. So I've got all of the fuel pumps here laid out and we're going to go ahead and talk about the differences between each one. So we have several fuel pumps represented here. The first one in the top left is the stock B58 high pressure fuel pump. The second one on the top right is the B58TU or the Gen 2 B58 fuel pump. And then on the bottom left we have the Dorch Stage 1 high pressure fuel pump. And on the bottom right, we have the Deutsch Stage 2 high pressure fuel pump. So this basically represents everything from completely stock setup all the way up to, you know, a Stage 2 high pressure fuel pump setup. So this first one is the stock high pressure fuel pump for a Gen 1 B58. And you can tell it's the stock one because it has this dimple on the top. And it also has the connector rotated in the correct orientation for our cars. So this fuel pump is pretty good. It supports about 450 wheel horsepower on the stock turbo on an ethanol mix and upwards of about 500 on a big turbo um, again with proper fueling so i still think it's a pretty good high pressure fuel pump especially at the time when the first gen b58 came out this was basically the strongest high pressure fuel pump offering that bmw had so it flowed really well compared to the older bmws now this pump is designed for our stock 200 bar high pressure fuel system so that's about 2900 psi and it also has a pressure relief valve that's 50 bar above that, so a 250 bar limit, or about 3,700 PSI. So this fuel pump is optimized for everything in our fuel system, from the injectors to the low pressure fuel pump. Everything is built around this 200 bar system. And then here you can see the high pressure fuel line. This is the high pressure rail for the stock fuel pump. So nothing too crazy here. Now this fuel pump is designed for the second generation B58, also known as the TU pump. And you know it's the right pump because it has this round dome on the top. There's no dimple. And then you can also look at the sides. Some of them are a little bit different here, but this is what the flange looks like on the correct fuel pump. So if you're looking for one on eBay or anything like that, it should basically look like this. Now this fuel pump is designed for the TU engine that has a higher pressure, high pressure fuel system. So it runs at 350 bar or around 5,000 PSI. And it also has a fuel pressure relief valve that is 50 bar above that. So a 400 bar pressure relief. Now this one again is designed for a higher pressure fuel system. It does fit the first generation B58, but you're relying on the DME to control your fuel pressure. So a lot of people ask me if I'm concerned about that pressure relief valve being that it doesn't bleed off until about, you know, 5,800 PSI, and that's much higher than what our injectors are rated for. That pressure relief valve is not something that's typically being engaged. It's really for a worst case scenario. So if an injector gets clogged or there's some other issue in your fuel system that causes it to build pressure uncontrollably, that relief valve will make sure that you're bleeding off pressure and not you know, causing something that could rupture your fuel lines. So it's really like a worst case situation, but keep in mind that when you're using this pump, you are eating into your safety net for that feature. So I haven't had any issues running it. Um, it is good for, you know, 550 to 600 wheel horsepower on a good ethanol mix. And yeah, I think this is a great option for people that want to upgrade their fuel pump, but want to stick with something that works on the stock tune doesn't need any adjusted settings or anything like that. Looks pretty similar to stock, especially once you rotate this connector. So it's a nice OEM plus upgrade. I think a lot of the gains that we get from this fuel pump also stem from it being designed to run at a higher fuel pressure. So when we run it at a lower fuel pressure, you're able to get a little more fuel volume out of it. So it's definitely a nice upgrade and something that I still recommend to people with modest setups. Now this is a Dorch stage one high pressure fuel pump. And you can see that I actually put some tape on here. This is because when I was removing the pump, I wanted to make sure that I could tell the difference in parts between the stage one and the stage two pump. There are some small differences, but overall it's pretty similar. So I put this tape on here just so that I would know which pump was which as I'm going through this video. 
but the pump itself is really nicely designed. It has the quantity control valve right here, and then this is the piston that actually rides on the cam, and then this is your low pressure side and your high pressure side. So it's a really nicely designed piece, all machined, very clean, well manufactured. Um, this pump is very similar to the TU pump. It does flow a little bit more, but the actual horsepower gains are pretty small due to the volumetric efficiency differences. The way that Dortch designed their fuel pumps is they have more of their volumetric efficiency at higher RPM, whereas the OEM TU and stock high-pressure fuel pumps are more designed to have better volumetric efficiency at lower RPM. You know, they're designed for the stock turbo that's designed to make a lot of torque down low so this one is more for top end applications for people that are running bigger turbos and like I said it'll run a little bit more power than the TU um, not a whole lot but it's a nice upgrade because it does retain all of the factory safeties so it's designed for your 200 bar fuel system and it has a 250 bar fuel pressure relief built in so this eliminates any concerns that you might have with the TU pump that it could overpressurize your system because this one will not let that happen. Now, as far as differences from the stage two pump, I'll show that to you in a minute, but the primary difference is that this is shorter. So the overall height of it is shorter and it doesn't stand off as far from the cylinder head. And you can also see kind of the alignment of these features is different. So this is pretty much centered on this face of the fuel pump. You can see there's not a lot of room on the top or bottom. And then also this high pressure connection is pretty much centered and this low pressure connection is pretty much centered. So if you see a pump with these kind of features, then you'll know that it's a Dorch stage one. And finally, this is the big guy. So this is our Dorch stage two that's getting ready to go on my car. And it is the same quality as the Dorch stage one. So I'm really excited to put it on. You can see that it does stand off a little bit taller. So this isn't aligned the same. It's kind of like towards the upper half of this face of the pump. And then this low pressure connection is kind of low on this face of the pump, so it's not in the center either. And then the same thing for the quantity control valve. You can see there's like a lot of space down here at the bottom. So it's not centered or kind of like filling up this face the same way that the stage one pump is. So this one is definitely bigger and I would associate most of that with the internals having more volume so that it can flow more fuel. And of course, everything else is the same. So it has the same piston size and everything is designed for the same fuel system. It's designed to fit on our cylinder head and to fit on our cam. And it also has the same fuel pressure setup. So a 200 bar nominal with a 250 bar bleed. Now this pump also comes with longer screws because the way that it attaches to the mounting plate it basically has a screw that goes through here. So it has longer screws and the fuel pump itself is bigger, but everything else that I can see is virtually the same. The actual mounting plates even have the same part numbers on them. The fuel lines appear to be the same. Uh, the length of the low pressure lines and everything else appear to be the same. So if you're switching from a stage one to stage two, I would say the absolute minimum that you need is of course the pump and the longer screws to screw it into the mounting plate. But as long as you have, you know, the right hard lines, low pressure line, connectors, and all of that, you should be good to go without having to pull those if you don't want to. Now, the primary difference between the fuel pumps, of course, is flow, and that's the main thing that we're looking for. Moving to a bigger fuel pump with more flow will allow you to support more horsepower. So the stock fuel pump is rated for 0.954 cc's per revolution. The TU pump is rated for 1.178 the Dorch Stage 1 is rated for 1.299, and the Dorch Stage 2 is rated for 1.558. So as you go up from the stock to the TU to the Stage 1 and a Stage 2 fuel pump, the main difference that we're all chasing is the flow increases incrementally. So depending on your actual horsepower goals, that's how you can determine which pump is best for your application. So that's the difference between all of the fuel pumps. Um, I kind of have the rare opportunity of having all of them in front of me. So I thought this would be a good chance to make a video showing the differences because this is probably not something that you'll see anywhere else. So I hope this information helps you guys out. And also, again, I want to give a huge thanks to Keys Motorsports for supporting me with this project, testing out the different fuel pumps on my car. He was very excited to support. And you can see from the videos that we're pushing out, we're getting a lot of good information and data to share with you guys. 
So definitely support him and check out his website if you're looking to upgrade your fuel pump. Let him know that I sent you, and hopefully we can make more videos in the future. So thanks again for watching, and if you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below.